don't know, say you're coming. Thank you. What's up, guys? Yeah. How you doing? Uh, I'm so happy to see you guys here, man. Thank you for inviting me here. Can we have some words in Bengala to show that you still have your roots here? Bon. Bengala mo ambuga. I bet I'm happy in Bengala. I'm more happy here. Hey, don't waste time. Now we can take a boomer and move like it. Now we take a hour. Histoire histoire Parce que on a basket. Côté le mais Now we'll continue to show. Now we'll continue to speak. Don't talk when I'm going to talk. At 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to the meridian. But it's very facile. And even with the conditioning, it's very hard. Sometimes it's not electricity. You go run, but you come back, you know, food. And if I didn't wake up to go run, I would never be here right now. When I'm with people, I don't tell them about NBA. I tell them Serge Ibaka's story, what Serge Ibaka did to become that person he's right now. It's not like I just sit down and it happened. I was dreaming, I was believing, I was working. No matter what, with food or no food, with electricity or no electricity, sometimes with no shoes. But this gave everything. Because I was thinking, this is my life. And when the important thing come, I was ready. Imagen está bien. La tuya. No, imagen de camila. Sí. ¿Vos estáis preparado para ir al Madison? Sí. Hey man. I'm a suit, you know, my first time in New York. Yeah, shake my hand. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the NBA draft in New York City. Serge was shaking, like he, he was really nervous. He didn't know where he was going to land. And when they start calling number one, number two, number three, they keep going up. What happened if you didn't pick me? Uh, it's so embarrassing for me. I start praying. Please, can I hear my name? 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 With the 24th pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Serge Ibaka from Brazzaville of the Republic of Congo. I heard I said my name, but like I, I didn't hear. I don't know if that's me ready. Like, let me hear again. Welcome to Congo, my friends. My name is Ibaka Ngobila Serge Jonas. Serge Ibaka, a.k.a. Mr. Veclas. I'm born here in Congo, Brazzaville. And it's good to be home. I know another guy. I got my family here, I got friends here. And also, I want to help give back to the community. That's why we're here. I'm back home. The vibe is different. I can't tell you yeah. This is Africa, baby. Life in Africa is in the street. It's nothing to compare with USA. It's a lot of people, more traffic. We talking, we listen music, we dance. People sell stuff on the street. Kids sell water on the street. We were driving like crazy. Here with $200, you can live nice, and you'll be happy. But a lot of people here, 
they do not have that. When I was growing up here, I did not. There's a lot of things about the world I don't really love to talk right now. It's some ugly memory, not only for me, for everybody. So we didn't have electricity, no food, and we was hearing the bombs. But we was calling that music because we was hearing that every second. Every minute, all day, 24 hours, no stop. When you see a lot of people die, your friends, your family die from sickness because they didn't have medicine. When my mom died, I was living off my dad. I was seven. All my life, I've been living off my dad. And at one point, my dad was in the prison in Kinshasa. Being 10, 11, 12 uh, years old, uh, he had nobody. For two years, I didn't go in school because I didn't have nobody to pay for my school. Those kind of stuff make me stronger. All those kind of stuff happened in my life. Just make me go so hard in basketball when I was young. Something in my heart just never stopped telling me, don't give up on basketball. Don't give up, Serge. Don't give up, you're gonna make it. This is new neighborhood. You see those houses? They stay building. It's gonna be nice. So this is all the family here. My uncle, my niece, everybody here. Bonnie. Huh? Hello. Bonnie. Madam. She's my grandma, my mom's side. She took care of me when my mom died and when my dad was in the prison. Hung. Where you go? 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 Where et bébé à famille, Bana, ma coco, n'a ni singo ma casse. Tous ceux qui ont foutu la locataire, on a souffert. Donc, n'a ni singo, à son bibisson le pangoy, caillé. À sa bibisson d'acoboy, caillé. Donc, n'a ni singo. N'a y a qui t'a venir, n'a y a qu'aux alabien. Je le savais. N'a y a qui? I started to play basketball when I was seven because my dad and my mom was playing basketball too. Both played for the national team, and his father is a kind of a legend here in, in Congo. His mom is from DRC and played for a national team there. Coquin de la Naba Los Angeles, in Alemania, a beta Naba Mindele ba match. Bakati Vina yeme yo kusala kule kawana. Apesa kanga isingu makasi. The first time we heard about Serge, it was September 2006. He played the Afro Basket Under-18 Championship. He was top scorer, top rebounder, top blocker. It was like a professional playing against kids almost. The first time I saw Serge playing live was February 2007. We just went there to talk to him about coming to Spain. I would say that we have a script and we had it from the very first day. Yeah. We go chapter by chapter, and it's very emotional when we achieve the goals of each chapter. And no matter if we will get all our goals or not, we are really enjoying this path together as a family.
Serge Ibaka, a late first round The pick. youngest player in the draft. Not only playing in the NBA, but excelling. 11th block of the night. Offensive improvement of Serge Ibaka. Perfect 12 for 12. And it's rejected. Led the NBA in shot blocking. Highest in the NBA in 11 years. A celebration has begun. Oklahoma City headed for the NBA Finals. Ibaka, contract extension worth $48 million. Worth every single penny. At forward, 6'10 from the Congo, Serge Ibaka. On future episodes of Son of the Congo. In the state, a lot of people don't know how to do here. A bientôt, on va, on va, on va être ensemble. A bientôt. When I come home, when I dress my family, it makes me know I'm the same person, no matter what's happened in my life. He came up hobbling at center court. If there was any way I can play, I was going to play. If I want to be true of my life, the sacrifice for my team, an NBA player, is nothing for me. Là, arrivé dans ma monnaie, ce que Mingue s'est passé, vraiment plaisir à gamme à Cassi. 12 000 puissance, sous la moine. 12 000 puissance, sous la moine. 12 000 puissance, sous la moine. Il est vraiment bien. Et ça, c'est notre fils. C'est la petite soeur de sa maman. Quand je viens à la maison, je suis ma famille. Il me fait que non. I'm the same person, no matter what's happened in my life. Not only for people to know, oh, Serge Baka is, is the same, he never changed, you know? But for myself to know too. I'm staying with my uncles in the house, you know. We got a little argument, little problems, they're kicking me out on the street. So I was, I was, you know, staying in the street, sleeping in the street, asking money. I forgive them. All them I forgive, I forgive them. Because I know I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. And God always forgive me. And he keep blessing me. That's why my uncle, I forgive them. I come back here, give them money. You know, I just buy them house. If I don't help them, they cannot live. I'm having a little meeting with my family right here, so. It's not just giving money, it's listening to everyone's story about why I need money for this, for that, how is my family. He not only is about taking care of them economically, but organizing a little bit and telling them how to not overspend. My Marie, my Bertos, don't worry. <laughs> Just that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Join with me. No. No. Oui. T'as dit quoi? Oui. Non, pas toujours venir. The first time I met my daughter, Trani, she was five. In the state, a lot of people don't know I have daughter here. You hungry? I didn't even find out about her myself till two years ago. Be careful. 
when I was here in the school, I had a girlfriend. And before I left, she was pregnant. I didn't know. It was kind of girlfriend, girlfriend, it was kind of friend, you know. Sit down here, come here. I left Congo, and then the news come to my family. She's pregnant. I left, you know, some women here pregnant. I didn't know. And after that, my dad told them, please, my son is young. He just left his family, his parents, his country. Well, now he's too young. How do he don't know about it? He's by himself. Please don't give my son pressure. I'm going to take care of everything. So my dad take all the responsibility. Finally, two years ago, he decided to tell me the truth and the story. Well, it was kind of shocking a little bit when I heard that my first time. And I was kind of mad with my dad too. But he was just trying to do his job to protect me because I was young. Viens m'apprendre une selfie. Viens. Bisous. <rire> bisous, t'as peur Non. Mais la petite me fait bisous, non T'as honte maintenant Mmh. There you go, Sarah. The first time I come back here and I see my daughter, G. G. and she's calling me dad. Like, I was, I feel strange, like, oh my God, like, someone's coming dad, like, I'm dad. You know, like, I can't believe that I'm dad. Let me see. You, you put the lotion after, after shower? Yeah, I'm eating my face. The lotion for the water to lave. Tu mets la pomme avec elle Ça sert des boutons. Des boutons Tu t'as dit ça La pomme de là. Now I'm seeing her every time I come back in summer and I put her in the school. She's speaking English already here. So I prepare everything for her, you know, to come visit and yeah, come live in Europe or the state of me. Je vais manquer quand je partais. Oui. Quand je quand je retournais en Amérique, tu étais content de voir papa ici, non parce que je passe jamais beaucoup de temps avec toi. Ok, mais ça va venir. À bientôt, on va, on va, on va être ensemble. À bientôt. Quand tu avais rencontré maman. Comment mmh. T'as dit quoi Quand tu avais rencontré maman. On vivait dans, dans le même quartier. Et elle vivait en face de nous. Parce qu'on a, on a grandi ensemble. La même école Non, pas la même école, mais même quartier, dans la même rue. Après, ils sont partis vivre en Congo, mais moi, je suis resté après. Tu sais, ici, après, on va aller où Après, ici, on va aller à Wendy. Tu sais, à Wendy mm. Là où je vivais, papa l'heure, papa a grandi. Je mm. sais. Quand j'étais gamin ici, je dormais dans la, dans la rue. On t'a déjà dit ça Non. Non On t'a jamais dit ça Quand j'étais gamin, je dormais dans la rue. Mais ta grand-mère, même Titi. Moi, j'ai vécu chez ma grand-mère et après, quand elle est partie à Côte noire on est resté avec mes oncles après. On m'avait chassé à la maison et j'ai dormi, dormi dans les voitures, dans les parkings et j'ai nettoyé les goudrons. Et là, tu sais, la bune de la pelle. Mm. J'ai nettoyé les goudrons, je mettais les peintures. Et j'ai tout, tout fait ça. Bon, grâce à Dieu, je suis devenu comme ça. C'est pour ça que c'est important, tu dois pardonner. Il faut savoir pardonner. Quand tu marches dans, dans la rue et que tu vois les gens qui demandent l'argent, qui nettoient les goudrons, qui, qui vendent de l'eau, c'est très important que tu, tu, tu ne rigoles pas ou tu ne ris pas ou tu, 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 tu ne manques pas d'eux. Parce que ton papa aussi a fait ça. Hein? T'as compris? Tu as retenu, il y a des enfants qui sont abandonnés par leurs parents parce qu'ils n'ont pas les moyens. Et c'est moi. Je suis né, j'ai la chance. Très bien. Je porte un maillot de foot, mais je suis un basketteur. Mon nom c'est Ngambou, mon prénom c'est Benny Ricardo, mon âge j'ai 15 ans. J'habite au Congo, Brazzaville. J'aime le basket. Depuis mon enfance, je m'intéresse au basket. Et j'avais une paire de Jordan, mais c'est poussier. Et j'en ai besoin d'un autre, mais 
je n'ai pas eu l'occasion. Je continue à jouer au basket euh, dans ces conditions, c'est parce que c'est comme ça la vie. C'est comme ça la vie qu'on le rencontre. On doit, on doit supporter et attendre le moment venu. Si le matin, il est trop au matin, après qu'il travaille d'abord, il fait d'abord une tour au basket, au terrain là-bas, pour aller voir, pour aller faire un peu des entraînements. S'il revient, il commence à travailler. Là où j'habite, c'est un milieu où il y a plein de médias, souvent des discussions, des rancunes, des bagarres. Dans ma famille, on est, on est une famille un peu peu nombreux. On est un peu peu nombreux, on se débrouille pas mal. En ce moment, je me réveille. C'est comme ça, ça les colonnes quand on se Je lave les assiettes. Je balaye la cour. Je lave les habits et j'étale sur le fil. Pour moi, Serge. Et je dois suivre le même chemin. Moi aussi, je veux devenir comme lui, jouer aux États-Unis et être aussi célèbre comme lui. Allez, bon. Bébé Rani. Annie, Annie. Ça va? Allô? Bien, le meilleur, le meilleur, il est Mais il est Même si une semaine, il est mort, 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 Some guy come, well, I got my wife in the hospital, I need some money. I don't know if it's true or not. That's some people come, we like, oh, you're my friend, we grow up together. Now you're having successful life, I need help. For me, everybody's my family. It's not because of my family. I'm going to give them some sort to help them. So you're going to see, you know, where I go, my house, my family out there. This is my, my dad's side. Here, here, our, our. Bébé, ça va? C'est Noko. Moi, c'est Noko. Moi, c'est Noko, ça va? Tu as vu, c'est la télé. Mais, 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 This is where I was born. This is where I was born. This is where I was my bed. To sleep, you need sleep of this for the mosquito. You know? Because it's a lot of mosquito. Mosquito, you can get sick after a lot of mosquito eat you. The most important is to have somewhere you can live, you can sleep, you wake up, you eat. The way I've been living in the state right now, it's kind of hard coming back here. Now I'm used to have toilet in my house. <laughs> it's funny, but it's true. People don't really need to have a toilet in the house to live. People don't really need to have a shower in the house to be happy. When I was here, I was living the same. I grew up here with that life. You're never gonna see someone complain about that. For me, stay for the home. You know, for the home. It's the same people. I know everybody almost. They're always exciting to see me. I'm always exciting to see them too. All over the Congo, including my family, people love to call me Yao Ming. I guess because I'm tall. 
The word gets around fast, and if one or two people from the family or some friend knows where he's staying, then everybody wants a piece of him. It can get intense, and sometimes it's, it's not always about money. Sometimes it's just about saying hi or being close with him, but mostly about money. <laughs> For a lot of people, there's a sense, I think, that not that he owes them something, but he needs that he needs to take some responsibility. Of course, he understands that with family and friends, and the rest of people, he understands that he cannot help or save everybody. You have to draw the line somewhere. <laughs> on the next episode of Son of the Congo. They feel like I'm gonna help them. That's how it is in Africa. When someone is out in the country, he's being successful when he comes back. That's how normal it is. I'm used to it. Maybe sometimes it gives you a lot of stress. A lot of stress. It's like two, three hundred in the same time. People to come to me. And they start fighting, they start talking. You know what I'm saying? And on them, they ask in the same time. And sometimes I am in the position where I cannot give all of them. You know? It's normal, and I'm used to it. They're my people. I'm just gonna tell you right now. In Congo, the rules are different. People asking for money doesn't mean they're mad. They're kind of half joking. <laughs> 
This is how it is, you know. I want you to help someone. You hear, you hear my feeling? The focus is to make God happy. That's why you see me here with these people following me, asking me. I cannot help them all. Well, I cannot, but I try to do my best I can to give them. Republic of Congo. Children living on the, no, they say, children living on the street in the Republic of Congo. Say again. Children. children on the street in the Republic of Congo. Good job. Give me a high five. That's amazing. Masawe go to an European and now. Hey, quiet. Si le lord de pacho on marche, on va ensemble. Togeni. Ah, c'est un bonheur, c'est un bonheur. Non, maman. Elle vend la boisson, elle distribue la boisson au marché, aux clients, et l'après-midi, elle vient prendre de l'argent. Faut te arrange. Tiens, faut te arrange. Tiens, un drame, ma sangue, tiens. On met la boisson dans les casiers, on pousse jusqu'au marché pour distribuer aux clients à chaque personne qui va acheter la boisson. Il prend et distribue, moi aussi, dans les deux. Il il m'aide aussi à préparer aussi. La vie au Congo n'est pas bonne. C'est comme ça. Si je veux voyager, je voudrais aller au States. C'est parce que c'est le pays de mes rêves. Yeah, long day, man. Ici, il a poster. C'est ma poster, ok. Il a game. You see that? Did you see? Yep, make me proud, man. It's a dream. Dream come true. Blessing, man. Blessing. Yeah, yeah. Everything, everything is possible in this life. On the next episode of Son of the Congo. He came up hobbling at center court. If there was any way I can't play, I was going to play. Back on that block. Block number four. If you want to be true in my life, you sacrifice for my team in the NBA playoff. Score! It's nothing for me. If there was any way I can play, I was going to play. Can he turn things around for the Thunder? He bought it with the first shot. That's when I know everything gonna come together.
Wanna be two in my life when I was young to stay focused with no food, with my dad in the prison, sleeping in the street. That was hard. To sacrifice for my team in the NBA playoff is nothing for me. Ibaka, yes. Is nothing. Well, that's the headline. Serge Ibaka back in action. Go six for seven, 15 points, seven rebounds, and four block shots. Serge Ibaka from the Republic of Congo came to the NBA as a raw talent and has emerged perhaps as a future all-star here tonight. Beautiful, man. Congo River, the biggest river in the world. You see how big it is? This, this is where my dad, my dad worked. He go back and forth. He was taking me with him, going to Jassa, come back at night. So, you know, for me, here is home. Like, I'm home. Peter, come here, Peter. You will jump. Yeah? Probably he doesn't know how to swim. No, no, and he's no. looking as a brave man. What, what happened if I go on now? What, what happened? You die. No. Yeah. You know that there are crocodiles co 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 here. Yes, they know me. The crocodiles here, they know me. When they see him, they escape, probably. Today we're going to Kinshasa, where my mom was born. The first time I'm doing a volunteer work out there. Mutum is one of the players or guys in this world where I got a lot of respect with what he did. He built this whole hospital where we're working today. I'm just going to help show my support to my big brother. Okay, Serge, I found this beautiful little girl. Her name is Mabamba. She's nine years old. Okay. She launched a hearing from malaria. Malaria? Yeah. Oh. And some of the side effects, certain strains of malaria, but also some of the drugs that have been given had taken away some of her hearing. She does not have any speech, so this will be truly the first time she's ever heard. Slowly go up. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Basketball is just a game to play for fun. But in that moment, I was feeling like I'm a doctor. Yeah, so good. They born, they never heard how the parents talk. Mama. Papa. Papa. Yeah, say ooh. 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 Yeah. Hello. 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 Yeah. Oh, okay. And that day when I was walking off them, it was the first time ever for them to hear their parents' voice. Bonjour. Ça va? Oh, très bien. Bon, ça c'est pour toi. Félicitations. One thing I never realized is how much hearing helps us to connect with other people. You want to do another one? <laughs> yes. Of course I want to do another one. You can read the text message that is not the same as hearing someone say I love you. Pa, 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 pa. 
Papa, 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 this side is good. On the side, Freddy, well, a little more or too loud or too low? A little louder? A little loud. Yeah. A little bit more? Pa, 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 pa. Yeah. Yeah. Bien. Yeah. Bien. Yeah. 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 Good job. When I say blessing, it's not only I'm saying blessing about my life, what I have. What I do of those kids that day is more meaningful than what I do in basketball. It's miracles. You know, what I was doing with those kids is people's life, man, it's life. Felicitations. Par exemple, c'était des bébés, hein? des bébés petits, je l'avais fait la physiothérapie, toutes ces choses. Des bébés, des bébés, des biens de sang. Ben, C'est ça que nous devons sacrifier. Je crois que ça, sont les vrais saints. Hein? Que nous aident, nous donnent sempre à travailler toujours pour les bien. Ne pas les refuser, ça nous rappelle que nous sommes limités. Et que Dieu nous a donné tant de choses. When I was young, my childhood it was hard, but not like this. Like almost they don't exist. When I was watching them, I was thinking, how they gonna grow up? Like if, if they wanna marry, or they wanna just die. They don't have mother, no father. Just I told my daughter, every time when you wake up morning, you need to thank God for the life you have. That is. La bénédiction et le terrain béni le pape. Hein? Ah bon? Le pape euh, François. Il a été accompagné. Il n'y a pas de la tour. Il y a un peu de la tour. Il y a un peu de la tour. Le cimetière? C'est le cimetière le nôtre. Où est-ce que voilà quoi là? Le cimetière là où. On, on nous enterre les enfants, les petits. Et Il meurt beaucoup, les enfants meurent beaucoup? Oui, c'est beaucoup. 
it's sad, man. It's sad. And I'm feeling blessing to be in this position, to have this power where I can help those kind of people, those kind of kids. I'll be asking what they will need here. They need food, supplies, and medicine. That's, that's why I'm here. I'm trying to give them, I buy the stuff, and I'm going to give them and try to help. I'm happy because I know I'm going to go back in the state. I want to sit down in my house. I'm going to be thinking what I did in the summer. You know why? I did a very important thing in my life. More than just going to Monaco for vacation or going to Brazil to watch the World Cup. Being here is a lot and something I will never forget. And I know God is watching everything I'm doing. That's the most important. On the next episode of Son of the Congo. Look, your friend, right? all those guys, they were like, yeah. they were, their dream is one day to go play in the state, right? Same thing for me. Okay, same thing to you, and you get there, how you get in trouble? I mean, I'm telling you right now, I don't have people who really have opportunity where everybody is dreaming, all those kids, they don't have the opportunity, they give you, and you wanna talk to me. You can play with love like that, man.